Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Eric, uh, also known as Ready Hustle, also known as Mr. Fajita. So uh, today, I got a big order of beanies. Uh, local paintball team, yes you heard me right, paintball team, uh, the Sacramento area needed some beanies made for an uh, upcoming tournament. Yes, it's 110 degrees in Sacramento right now. Why they're getting beanies, you gotta ask them. Maybe so, paintballs don't bounce off the head and hurt as much, a little bit, a little bit cushion. I don't know. Um, it hurts either way, so gotta be tough to play. Nita plays, she's over there uh, editing, but as soon as she gets a chance, she'll be in the paintball field again. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, um, I've already knocked out probably seven of these, so um, I'm just gonna show you how I'm hooping them, uh, you know, how I'm hooking them up to the machine, and, and we're just gonna bust these orders out and get them out. Okay guys, so I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to hoop these things, or at least how I hoop them. Um, you obviously, if you have a better way, go with that. Um, first, we're going to be using Mighty Hoop. This is for this is a 5.5 inch. So I'll show you how to do it with that. And then I'll also show you how to do it with the uh, generic hoops that come with the machine. So we'll go through both. Uh, so far, I've been, I've been switching them both out interchangeably. Since I only got one 5x5 Mighty Hoop. I have one always ready to go. So if you need, if this is your first time doing it, this is what I did. I kind of marked where I want it. I even used a little fabric pen like this. So just mark it. You really can't see it. But um, after the, I think the second or third one, I said forget that. I don't need to do that. So what you do, you just hold it right there because that's going to be the front. You're gonna keep holding it so you don't lose it. Flip it inside out. And that's how your logo's gonna go, so you always know. Okay, so, so you got your beanie. Get yourself some tear, rip, tear. Get yourself some tear away or rip away stabilizer. Whichever way you like to call it. Uh, usually I try to make it about the same length as the beanie. In this case, it's a little long, so just to prove that it's tear away. Look at that, guys. Believe me. Okay. So, go ahead, insert your tear away. And I just go all the way back. Not all the way back, but we're about that far back, so. There you go. Get your basting spray and you want to spray the stabilizer, the tearaway stabilizer. That will help prevent the beanie from um, stretching when it's being stitched so you don't get any puckering and you get a nice stitch out. And then what I do next, oh, work on getting those separated and I slide my bottom part of the hoop in. I use these two little magnets, I think they are, to eyeball where the um, where the beanie is sitting, so I know it's straight. So it's just about lining up the hoop straight, so when it goes to stitch out on the machine, it stitches out nice and straight. Okay, guys, so I like that. What I'm gonna do now. I like to throw a little slice of water soluble stabilizer on it. Yes, I said slice. Like a slice of cheese, man. Okay. So looking good. And the fun part. So make sure when you're using your Mighty Hoop that this part is sticking away because that's the part that's going to go in the machine and you need the uh, back of the beanie to stick out. So now, the fun part. Alright, so that's going to be the top. I want my design to be at the very, 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 very tip of it. So, Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get this on the machine and then I'll hoop the other one for you. Just show you how to hoop it with that. 
Okay, so I forgot a little step. Before we um, uh, set the hoop down, I learned this little trick from the Rakoma video. You put a little tape, because this is tearaway, so you know, you go rip it out. You put a little tape around the base, like that. And it'll add a little strength to your tearaway in the hooping process. Now I've done a few without this just because I forgot it, as I almost did right there. And it's still stitched out very nice, so you might not need it, but uh, it's working for us, or for me at least, right now, so bam, looking good, let's do it. Okay guys, so we got it hooped up already, let's go ahead and uh, trace before you run the design. So it's a little too uh, low or high, high, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, it's not supposed to be there, so let's move it. Let me try that again, get a better eye view of it. All right, so that time, it pretty much went just shy of the very uh of the piece of tape so usually i'll run it so it's like basically hitting the very end of the tape and um comes out good so i'm gonna go ahead and hit go and we'll stitch this beanie out some prints going sending out some samples to people so they'll be getting some full-size shirt prints and it's so fun having this thing run I don't know if you can see anything in there we'll work on lighting get you better lighting in here but it's coming Think of these transfers. I think it's even easier to line this one up straight with these hoops than the mighty hoops just because they don't snap shut. You can just sit there, look, make sure that it's straight to you, and then hoop. Let's get our water soluble first though.
the 600 uh, speed just because it is a lot easier on the ears to be honest at that speed. At 800 you start wanting to like plug your ears <laughs> just because I guess I don't know vibrations or something maybe it's all the stuff underneath but it's a lot more pleasant at a slower speed but normally we got this thing pinging around at 850 at least so it's pretty quick. So if you're new to water soluble stabilizer and there cracks there, some get left behind. All you have to do is spray it down with some water and wipe away. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it looks. Alright, last one of the night is finishing up right now. And then once that's done, it's bedtime guys. And it's done. Oh man guys, I am sweating. I'm gonna run around this house. Oh, Alright. Here's like my hat. Made it myself. Some people have been asking about our DTF transfers. Those are actually live on Nita's website. I'll leave the link down below. So uh, if you are looking for some transfers, where are your people? I'm gonna go ahead, uh, keep stitching this out, and um, if there's anything else, we will check back in a little bit. Alright, thanks guys. See, even on a, you know, a non-mighty hoop, you still get a great stitch up. You can't really complain about these hoops. Um, actually, the big ones, you can't complain about, but these small ones, they seem to work fine. All right, guys, man, I can honestly tell you, today has been one of the funnest work days of my life. Um, it's finally like, everything's coming together. We have the big machine, uh, we got the DTF printer going, and it's like, right now I put it all into action, like I was just, you know, banging out uh, beanies and then running over there, starting prints, powdering, uh, curing, I moved them over. I'll go ahead, I'll show you everything I've done tonight, but um, I'll probably pick up this video tomorrow morning and we'll finish up this order so you guys could uh, see it all. If not, maybe a two-parter, we'll see, but let's go ahead, I'll show you what we got. As you can see, as you can see, I've been busy. Prints are ready. Anyways, that's enough for tonight. We'll go ahead and we'll pick this video up tomorrow. Okay guys, as you can see, it's sunny outside. It's the next day. Um, we're back at it. We're gonna finish up this order. I'm feeling like a unicorn, wide awake. Let's do it. And I'm really happy how they're coming out. So hopefully the people, the person who is uh, buying this is really happy with them. Um, he's gonna be, he's actually uh, kind of surprising the whole team with them. So the whole team's gonna see him and Hoping they're all excited to have that on a, a big uh, tournament day. So we'll see. Um, we're over here stitching away. So I got to set up to 8:50 today, just because the kids are awake and I'm not worried about waking them up. And we'll be done with this order before you know it. All right, guys. Well, what do you think? I was very happy how they turned out and how they stitched out on the buy. Uh, not a single thread break, not a single needle break. Super easy stitch out. Um, I just had to change the bobbin every, I don't know, three beanies or something. Uh, yeah. All right, not a bad day. That machine has like opened up so many doors for us business-wise. We could do pretty much anything now, and it's it's awesome. I, technically. I guess we could have done beanies before on our single needles, but not like how that machine goes. So, um, Needle was actually planning on helping me get orders done. Man, my hair is crazy right now. Needle was planning. You guys like that hat? Anyway, uh, Needle was planning on helping me finish up the orders on the single single needles, but that machine, the buy over there, the handle business, we didn't need it, so it it just knocked it out. And I'd even run at full speed most of the time just because the kids were sleeping and I didn't want to wake them. Being able to step away from the machine, oh my god. It is so nice. I was able to uh, set up a beanie 
run, hit print, shake it, put powder on the on the transfer, cure it. By the time I got back, the beanie was ready to be switched out. So uh, definitely frees up time to do other things. I enjoy it. All right, guys. Well, I hope um, you enjoyed this video. I don't know how much of a work with me it was or how much instructional it was. I don't know, but hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed watching it. All right, have a good day. Wait, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Now have a good day.